Hello, David Clark here from DVC Training, and in this video I'm going to give you a short introduction to using New Blue Titler Pro 5, which now comes free with every version of ADS 9. New Blue Titler doesn't get installed automatically. You've actually got to find the installer and then put it in yourself. What you have to do is you actually have to go and log on to your EDIUS ID and find the download link here. So here I am on the Grass Valley page to log into my EDIUS ID. If you use the pro version of EDIUS, you'll have had to make one of these up when you were installing it before you can use it. If you have the workgroup version, you won't have had to make one up, although it is a good idea anyway, because it does things like store your serial numbers so you don't lose them in the future. So assuming you have one, log into your EDIUS ID. If you don't have one, make one up and then log into it. I'm going to log into mine. And the next thing you do is you get to these list of different items. Obviously, you have your serial numbers registered in there. The thing you're looking for to get hold of New Blue Titler Pro is in the news section, you find this item of news. I'm making this video in January 2018, so it's only just gone up there. There might be others when you come to look at it. But look for EDIUS OFX Abridge Updated. Click on that, and what you've got to do is click on this heading. The other link we have down here will lead you on to some tutorials on the new blue site about Titler Pro. But the one you want is this thing. Click on that and it'll open up a PDF which will explain basically how to do exactly what I'm about to do. But the most important thing is that buried in that PDF, on the second page, you'll find a download link which will let you download the OFX bridge. Now you notice I'm saying download the OFX bridge and you might be saying hang on David you're talking about putting on Titler Pro 5 why are you talking about the OFX bridge? The OFX bridge is a way of getting extra plugins into EDIUS they're called OFX plugins and it was written by New Blue and as part of getting the OFX bridge New Blue also lets you have Titler Pro 5 so that's why you're going for the OFX bridge because Titler Pro 5 comes with it. So you click on the link. I've greyed out the link here just because Grass Valley obviously wants you to go through the EDIUS ID and click on it from there, presumably so they can keep a track of who's downloading it. So I've got to make sure that you don't accidentally find out how to download it from this video. That's not important right now. Once it's downloaded, just run it and just follow all the prompts and let it do stuff. Now you might notice that it's actually installing quite a few different things because this installs the OFX bridge, it installs Titler Pro and it also puts in a few other new blue filters so you'll have a couple of extra filters inside your EDIUS. You don't have the option to choose which bits to install or not, you basically have to install the lot. So even if you haven't got any OFX plugins, you've still got to put the bridge on there so that you can get Titler Pro. So I just click on OK and immediately the new blue application manager pops out and you either have to create an account or sign into one that you've already got. Sometimes when I've finished installing I get this message but I just click on OK, shut down the application and restart it and everything's fine. The new blue app is pretty much like all license managers, it just shows you the new blue stuff that you've actually got at the moment and shows you whether they're up to date or whatever. Again you can cheerfully ignore that if you want to. Once you've finished, you'll have an icon on the desktop to run the new Blue Pro Titler. But you probably won't run it from there because you, know, you can double click on it and it runs the thing. But it's not working inside of EDIUS. You know, you'll have to make a title and save it into some format and bring it into EDIUS. Forget about that. You're probably not going to do that at all. What you're going to do is you're going to go into EDIUS and you're going to run it from EDIUS just like you would any of the other titlers like VizTitle or QuickTitler. So that's it installed. Now let's pop into EDIUS.